Why does it smell like burning plastic and arcade sweat? What are you cooking? Well, you told me to cook up some reviews for this next Neo Geo Mini video, so I got Metal Sub, Twinkle Star Sprites, King of Fighters 96, Samurai Showdown 2, King of the Monsters 2. Oh, and I almost forgot. It's going to be a good video. Metal Slug, SNK's quintessential run-and-gun arcade shooter from 1996, was developed by Nazca Corporation, which was acquired by SNK in the same year. Metal Slug proved so popular and evergreen, it's been ported many times over throughout the years on nearly every major console, handhelds, and mobile devices. The gameplay is classic and straightforward. Shoot everything, rescue prisoners, collect weapon enhancements, and bonus score items. While it doesn't necessarily add anything new to the genre, everything is wonderfully executed, and you get to pilot awesome metal slug tanks. Visually, the game remains stunning, displaying 2D sprite work at its finest, featuring detailed character animations, vivid backgrounds, wild boss battles, all with an offbeat sense of humor to complement the carnage. Even the screams of enemy soldiers never seem to get old as you blast your way through the six difficult levels. Music is epic and keeps your blood pumping through the adventure, standing out well against the many exquisitely crafted sounds of destruction and voice samples. Metal Slug is definitely challenging and a quarter hustler in the arcade. But with quick reflexes, perseverance, and experience, you can make your way to the end alone or with friends. Even though we love and look forward to reviewing the sequels on Neo Geo Mini, there's a purity to the original that makes it feel more focused and less gimmicky than the others. It's quite possibly one of the finest 2D titles ever made, especially if you're a fan of old school arcade running guns. Samurai Showdown 2 is the amazing weapons-based fighting game from SNK in 1994. First Showdown was such a hit for its time, they built this sequel from the ground up, adding four new characters and abilities, refined the gameplay and controls, while introducing new mechanics like weapon breaking and rolls. Beautiful sprite work with silky smooth animations really make this game stand out in 94 up against other heavy hitters like Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Mortal Kombat 2, and X-Men Children of the Atom. Backgrounds are vibrant and feel alive with a feudal Japanese art style and music to match. There are even destructible elements that make the action feel more intense. Each character feels unique, having different weapons and styles, varying in size and speed. Patience is awarded with blocking and counterattacks, keeping your eyes open for when items are thrown into the match like health, bombs, and weapons if yours gets destroyed. The original code to play as the referee, Kuroko, in Versus Mode is still available. Oh, 
And red blood is available if you leave it on Japan, as opposed to green blood for USA. The eclectic roster and tight mechanics contribute to the game's ability to withstand the test of time, keeping it interesting and fun for newcomers and veterans. Twinkle Star Sprite smashes together elements of vertical screen shooters with puzzle fighting to make a hybrid competitive shooting game. Once you choose a character from the roster of nine, each with different stats and bullet styles, the match begins in a split-screen scrolling motion set over colorful, fantastical worlds. The goal is to shoot the enemy creatures that descend upon you, setting off explosive chain reactions to unleash enemies and obstacles across the screen to dive bomb and overwhelm the other player. If you're on the receiving end, the trick is to blast them quickly, returning them back to your opponent, which multiplies their speed and damage, creating a hectic back-and-forth battle of attrition. A limited number of bombs are available to wipe out everything on your side of the screen, but you won't get any chain explosions that way, missing out on your chance to attack the other player. Eventually, the screens will quickly fill with a lot going on at any one time, at a surprisingly fast pace. All of this action is performed by manga fantasy-style characters against a dreamy backdrop with a fun soundtrack. Once your power gauge is filled, you can unleash your own boss upon the opponent, displaying entertaining animations, adding even more fun and madness to the hectic pace. Twinkle Star Sprites demands your attention and reflexes like a good shooter, while making you think about your timing and strategy like a good puzzler. King of the Monsters 2 is the 1992 sequel to the original Kaiju Wrestling Monster Mash that lit up the arcades in 1991. Set three years after the first King of Monsters Massacre in 1996, only three of the first game's six monsters have survived and evolved. Super Gion, Atomic Guy, Cyber Woo, fight together or alone to stop a hostile alien invasion to preserve their role as rulers of the Earth, even if they destroy it in the process. The graphics are one of the biggest improvements on the original, with larger, more colorful and detailed art and animations, bringing these beasts and battles to life. The city and human designs are reminiscent of a Rampage game, with even more explosions, vehicles, and destruction occurring on the screen with little to no slowdown or choppiness at all. The sound effects and music match the carnage and add to the feeling of satisfaction of laying waste to these caricature cities and enemies. Each monster can level up their life bar and abilities three times with power-up items located in the wreckage of defeated enemies and environments. But watch out! While you're having fun throwing skyscrapers around like rocks, you may run into power downs, then bomb items that can drain your health, remove your enhancements, and slow you down. Once you do open up the special moves, some require you to charge them before release, adding some timing and strategy to use them effectively. Stage variety will take you all over the world, from American City 
to the ocean floor and more. Bosses can be challenging and designed to suck the quarters out of your pockets in the arcade, which is unfortunately the principle this game seems to be developed around to a fault. King of the Monsters 2 was rushed to release, pushed to the market only one year after the first game, and it shows in some of its gameplay and boss mechanics. Those power-ups we mentioned? Even though they increase your life meter, you still die from three special attacks from the bosses. You can do some special moves yourself after powering up, but your regular attack damage doesn't improve at all. The enemy can block, but can you? Only in the SNES port of the game. And good luck winning the grappling, it seems nearly impossible. There is a two-player versus mode that offers a little more fun, but feels lacking due to only having three monsters with a short move list. Overall, there's fun and challenge to be had in this beastly beat-em-up, solo or with friends. While I'm fighting to come again, as a year goes by from the excitement, now declare the opening of a special tape tournament in 1997. SNK continues the King of Fighters legacy with 11 stages and 27 total characters in this 1996 edition. New additions to the roster include Kasumi from Art of Fighting 3, Leona Hydern, Mature and Vice, all new to the series, and the boss team composed of Geese Howard, Wolfgang Krauser, and Mr. Big, all former bosses from Fatal Fury and Art of Fighting. Along with new boss and sub boss, Kenneth and Chizuru. SNK tweaks the famous fighting formula yet again with some changes to the gameplay of previous King of Fighter games by introducing new techniques. The sidestep from 94 and 95 has now been replaced with an evasive roll, a move that would become a series mainstay. Now you can roll through an oncoming projectile or quickly get behind an enemy while they're recovering. You can also tap forward twice to dash across the screen instead of hopping a set distance. Jumping has also been enhanced, allowing the player to determine the height of the jump performing small or higher jumps. You can even perform blocks in the air to deal with some of the new air attacks. Projectile attacks are no longer the same as well. Some are larger, but take longer to execute. Some have a hitbox that grows the further the projectile travels, along with other nuances. Super special moves can still be performed either when the power gauge is full or when the life gauge is flashing red. However, if both conditions are met, the super move is even more powerful. Many ability commands were revised to make them easier to execute, and the game is even more combo friendly and allows for more counters. As for graphics, all the character sprites from the previous games were redrawn from the ground up and once again have colorful, detailed backgrounds, with another great soundtrack to match. King of Fighters 96 is another great fighting game to have on deck and a major milestone in the series that sets a new standard for future entries. Mm. Mm. That was a tasty video. Oh, that was a lot of reviews to digest. But there are leftovers, so we need you to go in the comments below and tell us which games you want to see next we're 15 games in, so there's 25 left to choose from. So subscribe to us to keep following all of our Neo Geo mini videos and all the other content we have in store for you. 
And remember, if you've made it this far, then you I and me... Smell... something burning. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot about the controller. Oh god, the controller's in the oven. Oh, oh it's burnt. Bill War veterans.